Hey everyone, Tim from vMix here, and in this video today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at vMix Social. vMix Social is a free add-on to every edition of vMix that allows you to overlay live social content to your production, just like this. Now, privacy and API access to different platforms changes very rapidly, so check out the description for any changes or platforms that we may or may not support anymore. Now, if you do know how to use vMix Social, but you just want to jump ahead to see how to use different platforms, there's also timestamps in the description. vMix Social is bundled with vMix, so you will need to download and install the latest version of vMix, and this can be done via vMix.com. Now, once you've installed vMix, you'll need to open it up and add a new social title. All right, so we've just jumped on into the vMix interface. So what we want to do now is add a new title. So we're going to go to Add Input in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to click on it. And then we're going to go to the title section here. Now we have the ability to add a social title for displaying our content. Now we have a lot of different templates available in vMix. So all you need to do is go to the GT Social tab here. Now you can create your own custom titles as well if you wanted to, and there'll be a link in the description on how to create those. So I'm going to select one of these right now, this one here, and then click OK. Now, as you can see here on the left hand side, we have a bunch of different fields for our social titles, and it's probably a lot more than you're used to with your regular uh, title. That's because these templates have been specifically designed to already include content that's being sent from the different social platforms. For example, on the left hand side here, you'll see things like from name, from photo, photo, message, and that sort of thing. So that's information that's being sent across like their profile picture, their message, and those sort of things from the social platform that automatically send that content to these specific fields. Now, some of the templates include a title field up the top here, and that's something that we've added so that you can add your own title to the social title that will appear. So you can add some branding or a hashtag and that sort of thing. So this isn't going to be automatically populated by the platform. You can do it yourself in vMix. So I'm just gonna add, let's call this vMix tutorial like so. So now I'm going to click the X up here, which will save those settings. So I put vMix tutorial in there. You can put whatever you like. Hopefully you realize that this is a vMix tutorial, uh, but there's a reminder in case you didn't know. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So this is what the social template will look like. As you can see, the message from the social platform will show up here. You'll see the profile image here, their name will appear here. And I've been able to edit this section down here just so it says vMix tutorial. So that won't change by the social platform. All right, so now that we have our title template ready to go, we can open up vMix Social. Now vMix Social can be found by searching for it in Windows Explorer, or you can take a walk down to the local hamburger menu in vMix in the bottom right-hand corner, click on it, and then select vMix Social from this list here. All right, so vMix Social will automatically search for and connect to vMix if it's running. As you can see here, it says vMix connected. Now, vMix Social supports a number of different social platforms. Again, check the description for the currently supported platforms as this may not quite resemble this screen that I have here and I might be a little bit too lazy to make another tutorial if that changes. Who knows, we may have to support something like Grizzle in the future. Okay, so keep in mind that you can use multiple sources here if you want. This is especially handy if you're streaming to multiple locations. For example, if you're going to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you can include all of the content from those different platforms. Okay, so let's set up Facebook first, seeing as that's probably why you're here. Now it is going to be a little bit embarrassing if they remove their commenting API tomorrow and I've wasted this video. So I'm gonna click on the Facebook logo right here and that's going to open up the settings. So first of all, for Facebook, you will need to log into your account and authorize it to be used with vMix Social. Now, once that's completed, you'll then have the ability to grab any comments from any Facebook pages that you wanna see comments from. Now, keep in mind that you can only use public Facebook pages that you are an admin of. So this isn't going to work for personal or group pages. Now, this is due to Facebook's privacy policies and we can't change that. Okay, so once you've logged in, you'll see any pages that you are an admin of from this drop-down list here. Now, we only have vMix, so that's the only one that I can select, but if you had a number of them, you could see them in that list here. Now, if I wanna see any posts available from that page, I just click Find Posts here, and that's going to populate it in this drop-down menu. Now that will show the most recent 25 posts made on that page. So here's an important thing. Now, if you're planning to use Facebook live streaming comments, so ones that are coming in live as you are streaming, it's best to create a scheduled stream in vMix 
so that you can select the stream's post ahead of time. So if I was going to schedule my Friday petrol stream, I could do that today. And then I can automatically see that from the drop-down list and select it. So I can have it already primed up and ready to go. And what's cool is that I can start seeing comments from that post even before I start streaming. So if someone posts today um, leading up to the stream, I can include that in the production. And I can also include live ones coming in as I'm streaming. Now, if you decide to not schedule the stream and just do it live, you will need to wait until the live stream has been created and then you'll have to go in and populate this list again in order to see it. So that's not ideal. You don't wanna to have to be doing multiple things at once while you're doing your production. All right, so let's choose a post that we can bring in comments from. Because I'm not live streaming, they're not live, but I can grab an older post. So let's go down here and grab an old one from a vMix petrol price. Underneath that, there's a couple of different things. Like I can choose comments that only have photos and clear the previously downloaded comments. So I'm gonna leave that as it is and click OK. All right, so let's add some Twitter. Hashtag blessed, hashtag vmix social, hashtag Mr. Worldwide. Now, what we need to do is click on the Twitter uh, logo there. And then up the top here, you'll need to log into Twitter and authorize it. Now they'll provide you with a pin. So you need to enter that pin here in order to authorize your account. So step three will provide you with different ways of downloading tweets. So search allows for you to search by username, keyword, or hashtag. And there's also some conditional things you can add in there like or and and, but I'll include those in the description if you wanna know a little bit more about the Twitter search. The home timeline will display tweets from the account you've logged into. User timeline will display tweets from a particular user and favorites will display your account's favorited tweets. Now underneath that, there's also four customizable boxes um, that you can customize how you want the content retrieved and displayed. Now finally, at the bottom there, you'll see the logo color. So you might wanna choose a white logo if you've got a dark background or a blue logo if you've got a white background, for example. Now once everything's been configured, you can just click OK down the bottom. All right, so now we're going to move on to Twitch. Click on the logo. So firstly, you will just need to log into your Twitch account up the top here, and then you're going to be able to type in the channel name that you want to be grabbing comments from. Now keep in mind that these are only live streamed comments. So once you connect, then you can start seeing comments. It's not gonna be older ones from, from when they were streaming before you connected, it's only from the point in which you connect. So once you finish that, you can just click OK down the bottom. So now we're going to take a look at YouTube or as those in the US call it, YouTube. So we click on the little logo here. First of all, similar to the other platforms, you just need to log into your account and then select the stream that you want to grab your YouTube live comments from. Now keep in mind that this is for the live comments, it's not for YouTube comments because we really wouldn't want to inflict that on the world by posting YouTube comments. Uh, it's just going to be YouTube live comments for live streams. So once you've done that, you can click OK down the bottom. And last but not least, vMix supports IRC. So just click on the little logo here to set up your IRC server uh, and your connection so you can start bringing in IRC content. So we have a lot of people that use, they build their own IRC server and they have their own chat rooms using IRC. So to turn on a connection to a vMix social source, click the on button next to the logo. So when it's red, it means it's not bringing anything in, but when you click the on button, it's going to turn green. Much like the scene in the 1996 blockbuster Twister, where going green means that something is going to happen. Now you'll also notice that there was a change in the text. So that's gone from on to off, meaning that if you want to turn it off, click the off button. So don't get confused by the color and the text, that's what it means. So the number displayed will tell you how many results there are for your search options. So as you can see here on that post, I have 53 Facebook comments. So now we're going to jump down to this title section here. Now I can choose what title I want to have my vMix social content appear on. So by default, it's going to show the first one that we have in our vMix production. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using title one, I'm going to use the social title that we have selected. Now underneath that, you will see a trigger overlay section. Now if this is ticked, it's going to automatically overlay the social title using overlay channel four when I send it. So this is a really handy way to automate it if you don't have a lot of production staff or you wanna just quickly send across content. So when I send a comment from vMix social, it's going to automatically trigger overlay channel four with my social title and all of my content. Now it doesn't have to be overlay title four. As you can see here, you can select a different overlay if you want to use that. Now I've just set up overlay four as my social title overlay. 
So this is how we do it for the vMix Funtime Live Show. As I produce all of the shows, I just have a tablet and I just click it and I just send it across to Overlay Channel 4. Now, if you don't wanna do this, obviously you can still send across the content to the title and then do it manually in vMix. So if you don't wanna do that, you can just untick that here. All right, so now that we have our title set up, um, I'll show you how to use it. I'll just leave this section down here below because it's more advanced stuff. We'll get to that just in a second. So what I'm going to do in order to see the social comments is click view here. So that is going to open up the default browser on my computer and allow me to start selecting all the vMix social content. So this page can also be viewed by a phone, tablet, laptop, computer, or anything that's connected to the local network and has a browser. So all you need to do is copy this local URL address here and put that into a browser of a device connected to the local network. So here I am here, I've got my web page open and I wanna start sending across content to vMix. So selecting and approving content is easy. All you need to do is click the content that you want to use and then click send. So here I am in my browser. As you can see, I've got all of my social comments here that are ready to start being seen in my production. So what I'm gonna do is just left click on this and then it'll bring up a screen that allows me to send it to my production. So all I need to do is click send and that's going to send the content directly to my vMix social title. So as you can see there, it has now appeared in my production. So let's just do another quick demonstration in real time. I've got my browser open, I click on it and then I click send and that's going to automatically populate my title and overlay it in channel four. Now a green icon will appear next to the content to indicate that an item has recently been sent. As you can see here, a little green icon. Now you can also add items to a queue if you want to. All you need to do is click on it and then click add to queue. And as you can see, a little orange icon appears next to it to let you know that it's in the queue. So let's add this one in here. Now in order to view the queue, which is very hard to say, uh, all I need to do is click the view queue section up the top. And it's gonna show me any comments that I have in my queue. Now the queue allows you to build a moderated list of items that can be sent either manually or automatically. So sometimes when we do our live show, I like to go through this while Martin's talking and build up a queue and then I can go back to the queue and then start sending them across when he's ready for more questions. Now, if you wanna get back to the content, all you need to do is click view all and it will allow you to go back to all of the comments that you have available to you. Click view queue. If you wanna clear it, you can click the queue, clear queue button up the top. Now you can also use this bar up here to search. If you wanted to search for a particular person, I can click this and it's, I've selected vMix. So it's gonna bring up anything with the word vMix in it, including my user. Now, if you wanna get back, you can just select this, make it clear and then click search and that will bring up all of your comments again. Okay, so let's just jump back to vMix social. Now in the main window, you'll see a tick box here that says automatically update title with most recent entries. Now, if you select this here, what it will do is it will automatically bring through the most recent vMix social entries automatically. And by default, that's set to every 15 seconds. Now you can change this if you wanted to, you can alter the seconds there if you want. Now you can also edit the rotation underneath that, meaning how many uh, different social things are going to be rotated through. Now, sometimes this is a little bit uh, tricky because these are gonna come through unmoderated. So if you're automatically doing it, it's going to come through unmoderated, which isn't very safe. So underneath that, there's a section called queued entries only. So you could build your own moderated list in vMix social by clicking on all the different things you wanna use and adding them to the queue. Now, if you have this ticked here, it's only going to cycle through those queued entries, meaning that you can create a moderated list that it's automatically going to go through. Now, underneath that, you'll see a repeat entry section. So if you don't have any new ones coming through, you can tick repeat entry, so it will repeat them and cycle through. Now I prefer to send my vMix social through one at a time. I moderate them and I send them through. So I'm going to untick that. So down the bottom here, you'll see a section that says limit text to a certain number of characters. Now you could untick this to have unlimited text coming through. However, you know, social titles are typically a lower third. So you don't want too many characters coming through. So basically we set this to about 300 to 500 characters. I think Twitter is 280. I'm not sure what YouTube is at the moment, but 300 characters is quite a lot of content. Now you can make this higher if you wanted to, it's like 500 characters, because the vMix title templates will shrink the text to make it fit within the box. But like I said, if you make this a thousand characters, then that text is going to look very small and very hard to read. 
So if you are making custom titles for your social, it's a good idea to have the shrink text available when you create the title so that if you have a number of characters here, then it's just going to shrink it into the box and it's going to be usable. You don't wanna cut off someone's comment because they've got important things to say. Now, when vMix Social is connected to a platform, it starts receiving a bunch of different content. Now, as I showed you before, it will send through information like the message itself, their name and their profile picture. In the social title comments, we've already matched them up for you, so you don't need to change the settings. Now, if you click on the edit title mapping section, you can make adjustments to what connects to each of the different title fields. Now, in the templates that we've created for you, the text and the image fields match up exactly to the API information that's coming through from the platform. So if you're using the same name in your title template, it's going to automatically match them up. So as I showed you before, things like from photo is the profile photo, and that's what's being sent through from the platform. So if I have something called from photo and it's an image, it's going to automatically be linked to from photo, which is the information coming from the platform's API. So it needs to connect up those two things so it knows what to display. So you only really need to play around with these settings here if you've got a custom title. So you can check out the video in the description if you wanna build a custom title and start mapping different things to your different sections in your social title. Now, one thing you might wanna do is say like the photo source, which is displaying the photo from a comment, you might not want those. What you could do is you could go through and change to something like blank or none. So typically it's going to be on photo. So the photo matches to photo, but you could set this to blank if you didn't want that displayed. But that's just an example. You can play around with that if you want to, but if you've got a title template, I wouldn't. So if you're having some issues with vMix Social, our support team may ask you to check the error logs, which can be selected here by clicking view log, but they can also be seen by going to your Windows documents and then going to the vMix Social folder. So we might need you to send those through to us to take a look. Now you can also click refresh title here down the bottom if you want to refresh some information on the title. Now up the top right hand corner, you'll see a little question mark and that will go through to the vMix social documentation in our help guide. Now, something to keep in mind is that because these are third party API connections with vMix social, we can't control if there's going to be issues on the platform. So for example, if Facebook or YouTube have API outages, we can't do anything about that, unfortunately. So you may wanna have some contingencies in place if you can't access the API. For example, YouTube gives you the ability to pop out a chat window so that you could grab the URL and then overlay that as a web browser input in vMix and maybe put that in the bottom corner. So if you do have any questions about vMix Social, please send us an email via the support page on vMix.com. Any technical questions here, we'll probably just receive a shrug emoji and please email us response. So there's a free trial at vMix.com if you wanna try any of vMix or vMix Social out. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. There are, there are a rev to that automatedly. So once you've connected up vMix Social to the platforms, their username, we've, we know where we're gonna, we're specially handling, hand, oh my gosh.